Good morning, everyone. It's Tuesday morning, really early. I think it's 2.30 a.m. in Phoenix, Arizona. I'm going to try to teach this teaching as spiritually as I can in the spirit of love and the spirit of truth and in a right way or a righteous way, which is the righteousness of the Holy Spirit of truth. I prayed and invited the Holy Spirit in our presence and to help me teach it. The end of Ephesians, the expanded sixth chapter letter, the circulation letter to the church. We would cut our denominationalism in half if everyone used in the New Testament the letter of Ephesians, which is actually the letter also to the Laodiceans, we're told to study Colossians and Laodiceans together. So therefore, we study Colossians and Ephesians together. Because Ephesians and Laodiceans, same letter. The end of the letter. Last, middle, first. One of my teachings. Finally, be strong, boldly. Be strong, boldly. In the Lord. And in the strength of his might and glory. I add words, okay, to expand the truth, the spiritual understanding. Put on the whole armor of God that ye may be able to stand against the schisms of the devil. It's about putting on spiritual armor. But in each piece of armor is another word. For instance, if I jump down here, fasten or tighten the belt of truth. So a belt and truth are put together. Okay, I back up and I read verse 12. For we do not wrestle against flesh and blood. I want to expand that. It's about the power and the authority of darkness or evil behind and through human beings in the pulpit, all right? False teachers, liars, shearing the flock and the sheep and preaching for money. Paul did receive support from the Philippian church in giving and receiving, and but when he went to a new work, he worked with his hands, preached for free. Didn't cost him anything to hear the gospel, the good news. Oh, I'm going to read this and then repeat it. Of the gospel. The gospel is called good news sometimes. Of peace, rest, Christ, and glory. That's the gospel. But the mystery of the gospel is Christ in you, dwelling, the hope of glory. So, it's two things connected, and I heard a Greek scholar teach to 619. Whether he did it intentionally or by accident, I'm going to say he did it by accident. But when he read the scriptures, pray for me, supplication, me, in opening my mouth boldly, Paul speaking, in opening his mouth boldly to proclaim, he jumped the mystery and said, the gospel, to proclaim the gospel. And he said it twice. And, and I jerked in my seat, sitting in the back of the class, because it's about proclaiming the mystery, or sacred secret, Rotherham says, proclaiming the mystery of the gospel. And we know that mysteries in the New Testament 22 to 27 times. So now we can take out of, proclaim the mystery and the gospel, but I think they're connected, but they are in strength two different points. The mystery is Christ in you, the hope of glory, Colossians 1.27, and Christ is the mystery in the tail end of Colossians when you study these two letters together. Okay, this is going to be a two-part teaching, maybe even a three. I'm going to back up and read again. Holy Spirit, help me reveal truth, spiritual truth. Verse 12, For we do not 
wrestle against flesh and blood, but against rulers and against authorities, against cosmic powers. I'm reading a, uh, a Gideon Bible, a little blue New Testament slim Gideon Bible. Do you know you could really read 28 pages of Scripture and make eternal life and glory? Don't have to memorize the whole Bible. And yes, the Old Testament witnesses in prophecy to the new and the coming of the Son of God and the Lord Jesus Christ. But we're living in part two. I am the now, the new, the today, part two, new covenant with better promises teacher. And I teach the life and ministry of Paul. Paul is in our, our example at the starting line till Christ be conformed in us, till we become like our Savior, the Lord Jesus Christ. And even the Spirit told me, be conformed into my image, do what I do, say what I say, teach what I teach, but also know the life and ministry of the Apostle Paul, who I chose after the cross. So I am Pauline. I teach out from the writer of the New Testament. He wrote two-thirds of the New Testament, 14 letters, of which Ephesians is the most important letter, expanded truth, six chapters. But the key to unlocking Ephesians is studying Colossians, the condensed letter, four chapters with it, together, back and forth, line upon line, precept upon precept, here a little, there a little that's connected. And we just took apart the mystery of the gospel. And the gospel is, I repeat, good news about Peace, rest, love, Christ, and glory. But the mystery is about what dwells in you. Christ dwelling in you, the hope of glory. Because without Christ, you're none of his. And God is Christ. There's so many things to learn that are connected. All right, enough of that rambling back to the word. We're up to seven minutes already against cosmic powers of this darkness, against spiritual forces of evil, evil, falsehood, lies. The father of lies is Satan, all right? And he was cast down to earth. He's the prince of the power of the air, of the kingdom of darkness, of lies and falsehood. Okay, lies in heavenly places or the spiritual realm. Verse 13, Therefore, take upon the whole armor. T.W., it was, we were told earlier when we started to read, put on the whole armor of God. It's a spiritual armor, but it's described with natural words. And here we go. Uh, Therefore, put on the whole armor of God that ye may be able to withstand, stand, withstand, and stand three times. You can actually get stand, S-T-A-N-D, four times in this reading that you may be able to withstand in the evil day. And having done all to stand firm, stand therefore, having uh, fastened the belt of truth and having put on the breastplate of right or righteousness, Romans 8 and 10, okay? We run into righteousness again. Uh, and the shoes for your feet, having put on the readiness given by the gospel of peace. See, when I read over here, uh, that I might open my mouth boldly to proclaim the mystery of the gospel, and down here, having uh, feet shod so you can go teach and preach the gospel of peace. So peace has to do with the gospel, the good news. That's my point. Oh, it's... Nine minutes already. In the in all circumstances, take up the shield of faith. Faith, hope, and love, and the greatest of these three is love. 1 Corinthians 13, 13, the love chapter. And uh, in, uh, take up the shield of faith with which you can extinguish all the flaming darts of the evil one. And take the helmet of salvation, Shua. I'm going to stop right there in this teaching, 10 minutes. Salvation, Shua. That's another teaching. That's what's on my hat. Yahoshua. Shua. 
salvation, savior, redeemer, deliverer, the er, er word, number three, E-R-E-R, -E -R, and reconciliation, thoroughly changed. We are in the ministry of reconciliation. Part two coming up. I love you. Eugene Bear, Bernie Bear. I'll be right back.